10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo has been in Polk County for us tonight, Bobby D, where a lot of people are hurting. Some, as Bobby mentioned, are now homeless, and they're just trying to figure out where to go to stay warm tonight. While temperatures drop in Polk County, that's not stopping debris from piling up in this neighborhood. The tornado left damage down two different streets. Some without power have had to leave for the night, while others are left homeless. I bought this house three years ago, and I've been working my tail off on it. And all I had to do is paint one more room, and the inside would have been finished. Everything Scott Levitt had worked for gone in the matter of seconds. I've repaired a lot of houses that are like this, but I've never been in anything like this at all. Uh, it's just seeing all your stuff scattered like this is it's hard. The EF1 tornado that touched down in Lakeland ripped off his roof, destroyed his vintage car and family heirlooms, leaving Scott without a place to call home before the holidays. I'm in shock. I, I'm, I'm absolutely in shock. This isn't supposed to happen a week before Christmas. <laughs> The Red Cross of Central Florida checked in on families in the neighborhood. Some without power left, knowing it would be a cold night. Others consider themselves lucky. It, it only lasted about 20 seconds, but it was so terrifying. Paige Curran and her son were home when it hit. Today, her roof is damaged, but Christmas decorations are untouched. Her son's worry? Was this Santa Claus going to be able to find us? <laughs> <laughs> That was his only concern. Is Santa Claus going to be able to come to get us? <laughs> During a joyful season, some are left hurting. But neighbors like Mike Darley work to clear a pathway to healing. This is my fifth load. The neighbors around here are phenomenal. I, I've got some fantastic neighbors. Boy, I don't even know what you say to your kids after you go through something like that as you're picking up the pieces out there.